Support Canes and Guide Dogs take over 53rd Street to aid a group of people who say they have remained in the dark for far too long. We're asking for a chance. We're asking to work hard and to, you know, work with our sighted colleagues because that's what we're training for. On Tuesday, busloads of protesters lined up in front of CBS, some traveling from as far as Maryland. They all had one common goal. The protest was a direct response to a new show premiering Thursday night on the CW channel called In the Dark. The main character, Murphy, is blind. Sorry. But the actress who plays her is not. And that is wrong. It's like putting a white actor into a black role without auditioning any black performers. It's, it wouldn't be, it's no longer acceptable, and it shouldn't be acceptable for disabled actors. Hollywood and TV entertainment have a history of casting people who don't have disabilities to play disabled characters, like Jamie Foxx in the movie Ray. But the executive producer of the new show says they reached out to 29 organizations for visually impaired and auditioned many actresses for the role, but went with Perry Matfield for the lead role because she was the best actor for the role. The NFB organized today's protests and has chapters in all 50 states. We have a division uh, dedicated specifically to the performing arts, and yet uh, the producers of this program never contacted us. So uh, we are not impressed with the number, and it doesn't look to us like they made a very thorough effort. Though the lead actor isn't blind, at least two others involved in the series are a show writer, and 19-year-old Callie Walton, who has a recurring role, according to IMDb. None of this should be an issue, according to one theater director who works with disabled actors. Ultimately, I don't see a problem with a non-disabled person playing disabled as long as you cast disabled people to play non-disabled roles. We're not there yet. But this crowd isn't ready to stop until we are. We'll come back again if we have to. This is just step one of trying to really engage the industry in a big way to get them to understand that we're tired of this idea of respectful portrayal. It's time to let us play us. This is Judea Murray outside CBS, Columbia Journalism News.